Libra, thank you for tuning in to Perfectly Imperfect Tarot. This is Green Eyes here with your reading, my darlings. Libra, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Mars, Martians, Astronauts, pick a note. It does not matter to me. I love you all. Cross Watchers, I am a snitch. I'm telling you now. Please don't curse me in the comments, okay? Love you too. Libra, this is a judgment-free zone, but you will hear the truth. There's no gender or age, only energy. You're going to hear me use terms he, she, her, him, they, them, it, have a pay it, no mind. Feel the energy. Remember, roles can always be reversed. Leaves, I thank you. Like, share, subscribe, emails, comments, love tokens, donations. Thank you so, so very much for your support of the channel. All right, let's hop right in, guys, because it has been too long. Um, coming into the energy, believe it or not, I picked up on two. Sorry. <clears throat> okay. Uh, two things. Uh, first one was, um, protection. Um, I, I don't want to really, I, I know you feel like you're kind of in the eye of the storm or in the middle of some stuff right now. We'll address that in a minute. Let, I want to talk about what you've been seeing. Um, some of you have been finding dead bugs, I don't know, at your door, in your house, around your house, um, just out of nowhere. You're just seeing them on the ground. Um, that's coming through as protection, almost as if whatever was lurking around you is being eliminated, okay? Second thing that came in was a game, the, the block game, Rubik's right? Is it called Rubik's? Yeah, Rubik's. And um, you had completed, I know you said three sides, and some had completed five. Now, I know it's a Rubik's, but I specifically heard three and five. Each of you, in wherever you are in your journey, that's where I'm picking, how I'm picking this up. Wherever you completed three sides and you're working on the other uh, three, or you completed five and you try to get that last one, um, each of you had passed your Rubik's off to, uh, someone who you trust and said, help me with this. And both of you got it back worse than it was. Whether you're at the three or the five. Okay. So wherever you are in your journey, if it feels like I'm starting off worse than I, st when, than I was, I, I you pa I don't know if you passed the buck or asked someone for help or dropped the ball. Um, it because the the hands that you're putting the the Rubik's into when I look at the hand, it's a dead hand. So it doesn't feel like a life hand. It so either um, maybe you're asking someone for help and they're giving you bad advice because they're already in. They're not just what they're not where you are. They're not who you are. They're not shining like you are. They're not meant to be where you are, number one. Or number two, um, you may have called for uh, ancestral assistance from your blood uh, that was not equipped to help you with what you're asking for help with. And it's not, it, there. I didn't feel like um, ill intentions. This is the thing. This was the weird part about looking at this dead hand. I didn't feel malice or, or hate or jealousy or anything like that. I just felt like it was ignorance, you know? So if you asked, uh, if you called for ancestral assistance on something going on in your life that's specifically to this, I guess, time frame, um, you know, time frame and space, uh, I, I don't think that they were equipped that like they helped in in their way. I, that's how I got. That's how the energy comes off. They helped in their way. Do that make sense? So if it seems like you got it back worse than it was, and you're in a position like now I got to start over, or not not really start over, but more so. Um, it's like, uh, I have to do extra work. That's how, okay. Say it like that. Now I have to do extra work 
because I got to get back to where it was and then take it from there anyway. Do that make sense? So that's how, that's how the energy, that's how we connected. That's what I saw. The two things, one was the bugs and the other thing was this game. However, this resonates, you know, for you, but I just want you to know, I didn't feel malice and I'm not sure of the message that you're, uh, loved one or this person in your life is is trying to give you by uh, messing it up. The only thing I felt was that it was ignorance. You know, they just, they can't help you. They can't, no one can know what they don't know. You know, um, that's just the bottom line. You, If you don't know, you don't know. And I think that instead of, I, I guess somebody saying they don't know to you, they're messing you up worse than you were before or if this is spiritual, it's more so like, um, I can give you what I got, you know, I can help you with these kind of things, but this kind of thing right here might not be my thing. Do that make sense? All right. I hope this helps, but that's our connection. So let's see what's going on. I have Visconti here for you today. And you know, these things are absolutely huge and I'm working with stubs. So I have to pull it. There's one here. I smell money. Who got money? Ooh, Libra. I smell it. I can feel it. I can feel the heat. Libra, you got money? It's not in the cards. It's in the energy. God bless you. You got some money coming in. Oh, look at, see, that's the help. I'm telling you, Francesco, Visconti, the seer that created these cards is Visconti. This is her husband and he helped her. He illustrated the cards and he helped her with the print because of course, back in the, back in the, back in the day, you know, a woman couldn't do such a thing. And so he did this for her and this is help, but there's something off. I think it's the, what you're asking help with. Or am I saying that right? Yeah. It's what you're asking help with. Instead of saying, maybe fix this, you could maybe uh, change your wording to how can, what do I need to see? What am I missing? You know, how can I get this done? You know, let the work fall on you and let the spirit be spirit. You understand? Let God be God. You be Libra. All right. So let's see what we have here. The four swords. Yeah. So I think lately, a lot of you guys have been kind of feeling very, very, um, how can I say this? I don't want the word that I'm here uh, that I'm, that's coming to mind is, uh, mundane, but that, that sounds like plain and I, I, that's not what I want to say, but mundane comes to mind. I have, so I have to say it. Um, I know protected uh, is also uh, here, but I already talked about the insects for you. And the four of swords represents protection, self-protection. So three of swords, you know, would be some hurt, harm, and danger, emotional distress, mental distress. That's what three of swords represents. That fourth sword is the one that you've learned to pick up and use to protect yourself so that when you continue on through this life, that you know, hey, um, I know the street is dangerous. I'm going to look both ways. You know, hey, I know that I was in this predicament before and I know what it did to me. Now I know how to speak up for myself. Now I know how to protect myself. Now I know how to honor, you know, the truth of the matter as opposed to, you know, living in that la-la land, things like that. That's that fourth sword, okay? But Francesco is coming in with assistance with some kind of difficulty. This, I want to, um, hold on Libra. So y'all get ready, get me in trouble already. God darn it. I, I, I have to clarify Francesco and I don't really clarify the oracles and you know, I don't, but I have to clarify Francesco because I want to be clear about this help because I know I see a dead hand. It's a very long hand, actually. A long, dark hand. Um, clarify, Francesco. Okay. 
and there's the king. I'm sorry, the uh, emperor, and here's the tower. Yeah. Um, okay. Libra, whatever your situation is right now, you might be asking, look, help me, help me get out of this. Help me keep, get things going. Help me get things moving. All right. And I think that, um, spiritually your angels, your ancestors, your spiritual team, the most high, you know, those that are assisting us on the other side is uh, helping you kind of boss up and take care of your own business. I ain't gonna lie. I, I love you. Okay. I, I love you. All right. Because what you don't see coming is some kind of situation where you're getting ready to have to make a quick move. All right. And it, and it's purpose, purposefully hidden behind your back. Look at that. The five of swords and the five of cups. This is purposefully hidden, but you have ancestral assistance past life assistance even coming in with that six of cups a uh, lots and lots of spiritual help but you're going to have to you'll be very very proactive and it hasn't happened yet okay but it's right around the corner all right i'm gonna leave that all right how can i do this because i gotta get to the spread we can already spend all day on the oracles because i really got more in me i ain't gonna lie but hopefully we can get some details with the spread I'm going to leave this like that. All right, let's get to these cards here. Oh, man. Um, No? Okay, I'm hearing no to the star spinners. Let's take it back to basics. Um, We're going to do the spread with Ryder. We're taking it back to basics. Good old home cooking. I love it. Let's get to the meat and potatoes. Libra, I miss y'all. Truly, truly, truly. You have no idea. Try to um, either get a back brace or learn how to sit up straight. Those of you that are hunching, you, you, you just noticed it. Maybe somebody pointed it out to you recently or you noticed it recently. You're getting that little hump behind your back. Get, get, uh, address that now, baby. Don't wait till that get too long uh, and get worse. It, you tear your back up. Let me have the core for Libra. Oh, God darn. Ten of swords. I'm telling you, this thing is coming to a head. This thing is coming to a head. Three of cups here. All right. So somebody in your circle, like I said earlier, um, somebody close to you or even on your spiritual team is bringing something to a head in your life. It's it's coming to a head. Tens are endings, but it's painful. Okay. Backstab, betrayed, lied, cheated. Pick one. You know, the Ten of Swords would cover all of these things. The bottom line is that it's coming to a head. And I think that those of you that have learned how to find refuge in the storm, in the eye, because you can't do nothing about the storm, but those of you that have learned to find the eye and, and protect yourself as best you can, um, you're finding solace, but it's like, okay, how long am I supposed to stay here? Because you may feel that like you've been in that eye for quite some time. Crown this energy for Libra, please. And thank you. And there's the King. So what's crowning is the truth. Oh, and there's the 10 of wands. God darn Libra. This is coming to a head. I darn near want to clarify that tower now. I cannot spend this much time on this reading. I'm going to get in trouble. Um, ooh. Let's talk. I'm going to try to generalize this, make it as fast as possible, and I'm going to see how I feel because I, now I want this tower. I ain't going to lie. It's talking. Uh, this King of Swords, you know, is air's energy. It's your energy, okay? When you start stepping into that King of Swords or you pull down from that King of Swords to assist you with this 10, that means that you're pulling down your logical thinking, okay? Your logical truth, what the meat and potatoes is, what's on the table, what stands. You understand? Cut, dry, no chaser. That's the King, okay? He is known to be... Um, 
a little aggressive, even abrasive with his delivery, but his truth is all fact. Okay. Now this is how you deal with this. If it's crowning you pull down from that to assist you with this ending. Those of you that are trying to come out of the rim, rim, um, I remember, uh, uh, sing it, Mary. Uh, is that Mary? I remember, oh, who's singing to me? I remember something you used to love. Faith, is that Faith? I remember, oh God. I, I, guys, I'm not good with music, but I'm hearing the song. Um, but pull down from this. This is a huge ending right here in your life mentally, physically, uh, 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 pain, memories, uh, whatever, whatever these knives were that have been sticking out of your back to a point that you laid down and you said, I stood all I can stand and I can't stand no more. I am trying to tell you, pull down from that king and you will stand. You will put down these 10 wands and regain the focus of what you should be working on because this is what's waiting for you and you don't see it, this five of swords. This right here is going to be a pickle. And I know I'm not trying to I, look, I'm sorry. You, you know, it is what it is. You want me to tell you, you're going to hit the lottery tomorrow. I'll tell you that, but I'll be lying because that's not in the cards right now. You understand? I'm going to tell you the truth. This right here is waiting on the sidelines for you to get up just to be this right here is a problem. This five is right here sitting behind the, your, your assistance. I'm telling you. So these dead bugs mean something. I don't know if somebody's sending you something, wishing bad on you, wishing failure, because the five of swords energy is not like an energy of, I want you to just, you know, fall down the steps or nothing like that. Like somebody hurting you. It's more so like, nah, 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 nah. You don't have none and I got mine and you don't have, that's five of swords energy. It's petty. You know, it's very, very petty. All right. Woo. What's working against Libra? Can we get can we get some information on that? What or who? How about that? What or who? Thank you, a fool. <laughs> I love it. I love my team. I'm trying to tell you. Aries Aquarian energy. That doesn't mean you know, you know I call the signs, but listen. Listen, Linda, listen, okay? Do not get caught up with the signs. Feel the energy to resonate with a reading from me or anyone else, okay? Anybody has the ability to embody any energy at any time. So don't get caught on the signs, feel the energy. But what works against you? Libra, full energy is so full that it, 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 I mean, somebody being a fool, check. All right, Aries or Aquarius, check. Uh, you not taking that leap of faith, check. All right, um, you being blind, okay, willfully, mm, Libra, I love you willfully blind check full covers all of these things so let's see what's coming in with the full the page of pentacles wow okay the job finances home uh your tangible things your car you know uh things you need to have fixed this broke that broke this broke i need this i need that things like that you understand also children you know uh, family, Page of Pentacles would represent as well. Um, why would these things work against you? This is energy, number one. Don't forget that. But sometimes we we miss what's right in front of us. I'm not going to lie. That's how I'm picking this up. Because the page's offer is always small, you know, and this page gives you what, but the page offers what they have. This is, uh, pages are students, they're learning, you know? So you might not see something small as something that's, that can grow or change or whatever, you understand? 
you also might have a child that's losing their dag on mind because that this is how that resonates with me. Okay. But maybe we can get some more info if we can see where this came from. Can I have the past? Okay. And the world. Yeah. So recently you've been, that's why you probably feel like it's been long enough. You've been closing a cycle. World energy, is. this is the final um, major arcana of the tarot, okay? It closes out the cycle. It represents also travel or moving, uh, movement, you know? Um, but most of all, it's completion, okay? So it seems like something came to a close or something uh, completed and you're like, hey, I'm ready for the new beginning. And for whatever reason, it was like an ending that never ended. That's how this is coming through here. Even looking at this tower, almost as if like you had an ending that never ended. It was over, but it was never over. I closed it out, but it still hurts. You know, Where is my new beginning? How do I start? I know I finished, but it seems like I'm stuck at the start line. You know what I'm saying? Be honest about the situation. Be truthful about your situation. You know, cut ties with anything that's not serving you. The Six of Cups is now coming back. That ancestral, that's probably why you're getting these ancestral assistants to help you get from the finish to the beginning. Because it's like you're stuck in between. Do that make sense? Ooh. Where are we going with this for Libra? Please and thank you. Ah the moon. Ah, I'll take it. I love it. Piscean Scorpion energy. Um, the moon energy is not always a bad thing. Let's say that. Okay. Yes, it can represent fear, anxiety, things that are hidden behind your back. And that's because we use the moon. You don't realize it, but everyone's heard the term something being swept under the rug. The moon is the rug. It hides things for us. So things that you've dealt with in your life that you, I'll deal with that later. I can't worry about that right now. Um, I don't even care, even though you really do. You, you don't allow yourself to process those emotions. So you basically are sticking them behind the moon. Now, Whenever a new cycle begins, a new beginning is stepping in, you have to start from zero. And that's what happened. Remember, the major arcana, the world is the last card, number 21. The fool is zero to start over. And it's like you're stuck in between the 21 and the zero because you're not fully clean. Okay, now I love you. I know you're not dirty, but you understand what I'm saying. There's some things that are behind the moon that probably you have stuck behind there so long ago or maybe so deep that it just needs to be cleansed. The moon will cleanse that energy. People, I, I give the example of people that do uh, crystals. They clean them with the moon because it's a very cleansing energy. You charge your uh, crystals with the sun, you clean them with the moon. And that's the energy that you're stepping into, an energy of purging and cleansing with ancestral assistance coming back. Lots and lots of assistance. This is, uh, that might be why it's old. Huh. Um, if, if uh, I know, hmm. How do I say that? Hold on. Because everybody is not for everything. I got to stop. Let me stop. Because I said I was going to stop half-stepping and sugarcoating. Um, for those of you that are, that you know your family line has been, is gifted. Um, some of you have a cleanse from the line, from the blood. It's not you personally, but it's still in you. You understand? Um, and the way you would know if that resonates for you is probably because you're, you've been either dreaming of this loved one or you've seen someone in your dreams you don't recognize. Yeah, that's how I want to say that. Yeah. But it is someone from your blood. 
and you may have if you've been the if you're the chosen the curse breaker that black sheep you know we all know those terms um then this is something that you have to unfortunately endure and conquer uh so that how can I say this? So that you can, uh, I guess, release the blood, Re release the line. Yeah, I release the line. Um, so if you feel that in your dreams or you're being faced with situations of, of choices, be truthful, be honest, you know, hold on to that integrity and you know, make sure you, I don't know, uh, give the change back if you get too much or that's how this feels. It feels like um, you're being tempted. It feels like temptation. Okay. Hold on to your sword when it comes to that. Be truthful, be honest, hold on to that integrity, all right? Because that's what's going to free this blood. Beyond that, things should start to, yeah, look at that. It, things should start to pick up. <laughs> Eight of Wands to the boomstick. This is a very fast energy. It's almost as if you'll go from standing still to 100 miles an hour. That's this, literally. From standing still... That's your still 100 miles an hour, okay? Um, messages, traveling, uh, movement, you know, eight of quick moves, all right? Unga bunga your way through. Don't drop the ball. This is what you asked for, okay? So I need you to unga bunga your way through. This is the boomstick, the poom poom stick. This is power, passion. It's fertile energy. It births life-changing events, Unga, bunga, fruit ninja, your way through, okay? Get away from that darkness, six of swords, stepping into your pre-empress energy. Abundance is now starting to come through. Um, intuition, definitely on 10. Looking good, smelling good, feeling good, and learning to lean in to divine timing. Um, connections. That smells so nice. Um, connections it, uh, are even being made better. Some of you are getting a road dog, of, you know, road dog. How, how can I say that? Road, a homie, you know, a homie, road dog, um, uh, a PIC, partner in crime, whatever. <laughs> um, you're either coming into a, a new one or you have an old one that is maybe in turmoil over what they did to your bond, okay? <clears throat> I have to say that as well with that page. But yeah, you're coming through as justice. You know, they may be in turmoil, somebody that is thinking about you and really kind of in turmoil, like, you know, Nine of Swords is stress, anxiety, headaches, sleepless nights, um, about, you know, about you. They even may be stalking you um, on social media, but there it is. I told you the money was, I know it's coming. Once your balance is restored and that integrity is intact, your justice is true. You're, here's your divine gift, but what you gonna do with it? Oh, God darn Libra, I tell you. I, 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 uh, I, how, how can I say anything less <laughs> with this two of swords? That's you being you. I don't know. I don't know. I didn't expect it. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right, God, you tell me what to do and I'll do it. You just tell me what to do. I, I'm going to close my eyes and no Libra. No, we're not doing this no more. Make a choice, make a decision, make a move. So if you're gifting somebody, gift. If you want it to be small, make it small, whatever the case is, because whatever you do, but understand they're going to tell the world. So have a plan. Okay. You're not stuck. Don't get stuck in foolishness. You just got out of it. Don't get stuck in foolishness. This is toilet paper torture. You know, I, that's toilet paper torture. This is your mind saying, Oh my God, I can't believe such and such told everybody. Yup. They did because that's what they do. All right, but you're vibrating high, your frequency high, uh, your expectations high is going to wield uh, high results, you know, very lucrative um, energy. It's going to match that. All right. So the universe is matching you. The most high is coming in to match you. You thinking big, you getting big. All right. That's that wheel of fortune energy. But keep it high because that wheel turns both ways. OK, overall, this is an energy of favor, guys. Aquarius coming through with the star. It's limelight energy. It's being center stage. The most high is front row. And he said, go ahead, baby, do your thing. And you'd be like, all right, yeah, I go, big G, you know, do your thing. Do your thing, Libra. 
All right. This will heal you. This will bring you balance, whatever you need. It, it's going to put, you're the star. You're setting the example. And here, look at, look at the foolishness coming. That's what foolishness does. And I'm not scared. And I don't want you to be because foolishness is foolishness. Liars are going to lie. Cheaters are going to cheat. Uh, uh, stealers are going to steal. You understand? People are going to people. Life is going to life. All right. So understand with these kind of blessings coming in, you know, the enemy is coming, but look at the victory over. Oh, come on here, Libra. Do you see this victory right behind? It? And it don't matter what kind of confusion you trying to bring. Victory is here. What kind of uh, uh, stronghold you trying to implement? Victory is here. You understand who you send in to attack me? Victory is here. It don't matter. Victory is here. The, it's always been you. It's always been you. You're going to say, how? I don't even know how I did that. Look at this. Look, I'm confused. You ever, you, I mean, we've all had those moments. I don't know how I made it. Lord have mercy. I don't know. I should be, but I'm not. Huh? Come on now. So in those moments of confusion or illusions or options, you know, you know now that you have a source inside of you that you can tap into at any time and get any information you need to help you with the decisions that you're trying to make. All right. And it's the most beautiful thing is that it's so personal. It's between you and the most high. Your mouth is shut. You and the most high. So when you need to make a decision, you go to spirit and then you make the move because everything is clear and plain and whimsical and open. You're enlightened. You're awake. You see. Now you can step in. Now you can step in clarity, communication, even the ability to cut ties, protect yourself if you need to, whatever it is, this is a sort of truth. Okay. A, <laughs> manifesting. Look at this abundance. Empress is even coming in. Look at you. What you say? Slow down, God. That's too much. Well, are you kidding me? I got more for you. This thing is going to keep going because of your journey. Own it. Own this growth. Own it. Libra. I want to bring you back to, I uh, hopefully you share, you watch this um, from the beginning. Because after doing this, my vibration has changed. My view has changed. And what I saw in that tower earlier, I still see, but I don't need to clarify it. That's how I want you to handle these things uh, that's going on in your life right now. Something might happen. We might not see it coming, but come on. Cause I know what's in me. You know what's in you. Okay. All right. Um, if any event you said, listen, this one ain't for me. I don't even know where you been, what you doing, what you talking about. I love you. I apologize. I have a lot going on, but Please check your moon or rising. Don't take the energy if it's not yours. Leave it here for someone else, okay? Everyone, thumbs up, subscribe. Make sure you're notified of future readings. It's free and it supports the channel. Remember, guys, we are all perfectly imperfect. I'll talk to you next time. Bye.